What's up guys, my name is Max and today I'm going to be showing you how we installed the gray water system in the box truck. Now we're using a self-contained toilet so there is no black water system so our gray water system is going to collect water from the shower, the bathroom sink, and the kitchen sink. So first things first, let me take you over here. This is a tank, I got this off eBay, it's brand new. Um, it's about 40, 40 gallons total. Uh, based on the dimensions and mine came with a three inch uh, standard PVC um, female um, adapter so I need like a male adapter to go in here and then this is a one and a half inch hole and what we're going to do is we're going to build this to be a vent right because we, we have to prevent any sort of suction uh, forces otherwise they'll collapse the tank so we're going to build a vent for the little one and a half inch hole then this will be our main drain and I'm going to adapt this three inches to one and a half inch PVC, which is gonna be the drain system for all three drains. Um, and so I bought a bag of PVC fittings, you can see here, um, some of them are already wrong, uh, but that's why I bought a whole bunch of them, because I'm gonna take back what I don't need, and I'll probably have to make another trip tomorrow to go buy a whole bunch more. And then over here, we just got um, 20 feet of one and a half inch schedule 40 PVC to get us started. Uh, but the first thing on today's agenda is to use this. This is one and a half inch angle iron. And if you follow me back in the garage here, what we're going to do, the way these tanks are designed, is they actually have a one and a half inch lip right here all the way around. And so what we're going to do is we're going to basically build a uh, like a bed frame, and it's going to sit inside the bed frame, and it's going to allow us to mount it to the underside of the box truck the way we did with the propane tank and the um, battery box. Um, and it's going to allow us to drop this down a little bit so we can have a little bit of a downward slope from all of our drains to make, uh, make life a little bit easier. Um, so I'm going to basically build the frame out first and then we'll figure out where our mounts need to be and how far down we need to drop it um, and uh, build that up. And we have... Um, all, I have the kitchen already installed. You guys saw that in the last video. Um, the drain's gonna run straight down across the box truck. The kitchen sink is coming in, and once that comes in, I'll build the kitchen, I'm sorry, I'll build the bathroom sink, and we'll figure out where that drain pipe goes. And I already have the shower stall. We just have to modify it um, to make it fit. And then we'll know where that is. We can run all of this back in together. Hopefully, this is gonna be one of the less uh, challenging pieces because PVC generally goes together pretty easily as long as you uh, measure everything right. Uh, wink, wink, nod, nod. Um, but that's pretty much it. There's nothing really to talk about other than to get to it. So uh, I'm going to start chopping some metal and make ourselves a little frame. So here's our welded together frame. Again, nothing special. Uh, this one is actually 64 inches long by 25 and a half inches wide to basically fit that tank really snugly. Fits it really snugly, fits it really well. <clears throat> and now we got it to basically, we're gonna install, just weld on uh, vertical pieces here and then there'll be mounting plates on top of them. Um, but for that, I gotta do a little bit more math and maybe run some of the plumbing lines first. So if you guys remember, I told you we have to make a vent. And so what I got is this. This is a one and a half inch uh, PVC to one and a half inch uh, NPT adapter. This screws into the tank. This we will join to this, which we will join to this. We will drill some holes in the top of this. And then we will mount a cap. 
as such on top of it so that little things can't crawl in there and rain doesn't get in there and dirt doesn't get in there and whatnot. Um, this exact implement, they sell special vents on eBay. This thing right here is like $32 plus shipping. I have no idea why. So we're just gonna make our own. Um, and so for all the PVC stuff, you want this. This is OD uh, PVC cement and purple primer. Uh, word of warning, this shit, we will stain and destroy anything in a bright bright purple so unless you want that thing to be bright bright purple be very very careful where you drip it so here's our mounted tank i still gotta pull everything tight but you can see i gave myself just enough room to basically route all of the uh, all of the plumbing underneath here and this sits a little low and it's right in the middle which is really not ideal because it's basically cutting down on my breakover angle but the exhaust is up here on the front, and so I couldn't have this too close, otherwise it would melt the, uh, the plastic tank. So basically, just compromises have to be made. Even with this, we still have like, I don't know, this is my knee. I'm about six foot tall, so you're probably looking at almost 36 inches of ground clearance, maybe like 30 inches of ground clearance. Um, and we're not going off-roading or anything, I just, um, you know, want to have it be sensible and it's flush mounted with the side of the RV so nothing's sticking out um, so now all I gotta do is grab some wrenches tighten it up and uh, we can keep going with all the plumbing so here's our mounted tank um, it's bolted up there solid uh, there's nothing that keeps this in except for the weight of the tank itself this is gonna be where all of our gray water comes in um, this is just a little vent right here to avoid any sort of suction issues. This is where our drain is. We're gonna have a, a, a piece that goes on here that is a um, like a gated valve. Um, we've come across our first problem. If you take a look up here, this right here is a pilot hole I drilled um, and that is where the shower has to drain. As you can see, there's this big piece of steel right here. Um, so I'm not really sure how we're gonna get through that, but we gotta run a piece of PVC through here and it's about a two inch hole. So I'm gonna have to remove at least part of this um, steel beam and find a way to reinforce it maybe. I don't really know if it's even that big of a deal compared to just like cutting it because um, there's so much steel here that I don't know that it makes a huge difference. We use this stuff, it's called Red Guard. Uh, what we did was we put it underneath where the shower base will go and then I'll end up painting all of the walls around the shower. It's basically just a uh, roll-on moisture barrier and it works really well. Once it hardens, it makes a, a nice thick sheen of just impermeability. And so um, did that over there. And then if I bring you guys over here, underneath the box truck, basically show you, here's our cross cut. Now nothing's been really joined yet, but here's our cross cut. Um, that's where it's gonna go in the tank. That's where the shower is obviously it's drooping down right now because there is no shower, but uh, everything's labeled. I'm gonna start taking stuff apart um, in order to uh, permanently cement it together. Well, the proof, as they say, is in the pudding. As you can see, we got water coming out of the exact hole we need water coming out of. Everything under here is dry. That is for the bathroom sink. Um, I don't have the bathroom sink yet, and so I can't place the whole fucking thing yet. But that's basically where it's gonna go. Um, we've got the uh, all the pipes supported, a couple of different places, um, and it's all really, I mean, it moves a little bit, but it's pretty, pretty solid. And I mean, it's made to kind of flex with the truck and whatnot, so I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. Plus, like I said, it's, it's gray water, so at best it's soapy water, and if it's dripping on the ground somewhere, it's probably not going to be too much of an environmental hazard, not that big of a deal. But, always want to do it right. Right now, I can't find any leaks, so we're going to go with everything works. Um, let me see you guys inside and show you where I put down the shower pan and kind of how it fits. So, here's our sink. As you can see, everything underneath it is dry. Put the stopper back in, prevent stuff from going down there. This is our shower pan. Um, the way the truck's sitting right now, apparently some of the water has run off into a corner, but it is kind of slanted generally this way. Um, 
So you can see there's that red guard we put down underneath. We're gonna have to build some sort of block off thing here. That's fine, but uh, this is me standing in the shower. Feels nice and firm and secure. And I mean, it's not huge, but uh, you know, it'll, it'll work for, for what it needs to do. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, next, we are gonna start working on this bathroom, getting the toilet in, getting the sink in, getting the walls up, um, but that's gonna have to wait for another video. If you like this video hit the like button if you like this channel please subscribe there's a whole playlist if you search hashtag the base box on youtube or facebook or uh any instagram or any other social media you can find a bunch of pictures of all the stuff that we've done um i want to thank you guys for watching peace